गाइस स्मिता हियर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू डू अ विंग्ड लाइनर एक्चुअली अ प्रिटी बिग विंग्ड लाइनर ऑन हुड एड आइज एंड विल पेर इट विथ ब्यूटिफुल रेड लिप्स सो इफ यू आर रेडी लेट्स बिगिन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ माई बेस मेकअप एंड फॉर दैट आई विल नीड अ प्राइमर टू बिगिन विथ सो एम गोइंग टू यूजिंग पोर फ्रेशनल फ्रॉम बेनिफिट कॉस्मेटिक्स वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट प्राइमर्स दिस इज अ सिलिकॉन बेस्ड प्राइमर सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी स्मूथ सिल्की लाइक टेक्स्चर सो इट्स गोइंग टू फिल इन ऑल योर पोर्स योर फाइन लाइन स्मूथ आउट योर स्किन सो एनीथिंग एल्स दैट यू अप्लाई ओवर इट विल ग्लाइड ऑन स्मूथली To keep under my eyes hydrated and smooth, I'm going to be using the Murad Hydration Cream. My choice of foundation today is the Smashbox Liquid Halo. This is in the shade five. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Kabuki brush to apply it on my face and neck. Any time you use a brush, the coverage is much better because the fibers in the brush don't really absorb much product. But when you use a sponge, it tends to absorb a lot of uh, the product that you apply on your face. So it gives you a more sheer coverage. So depending on the kind of coverage you're going for, you can either use a brush or a sponge. And then I'm going to be using the Milani concealer in the shade 145 to cover up underneath my eyes and as a primer on my lids, as well as to do some spot correction around my mouth. The sponge that I'm using is from Ofra Cosmetics, and once I've applied the concealer and blended it out. I'm going to dip the same sponge into some translucent powder. I'm going to be using air sponge today and I'm going to gently press it in areas where I use the concealer to prevent it from creasing. So by doing so it's going to set the concealer and not allow it to move. For more coverage on the rest of the face, I'm going to be using a press powder. This one is from Smashbox and it's in the shade 4. And now to lock the base so it doesn't move, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Pretty Fresh Setting Mist from ColourPop. Moving on to brows, I'm using my favorite brow pencil in the whole wide world. This is precisely my brow from Benefit in the shade 4.5. Again, I'm going to use it only to fill in the sparse areas in my brows. And because my brow hair is so thick sometimes it's all over the place so just to keep it in place I'm going to be using the Benefit Gimme Brow. You can use any brow gel. You can also use a transparent mascara if you like. Today's eye makeup is simple and sleek. All I need or you need is just a bronzer or a brown eye shadow. I'm going to be using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I'm taking just a tad bit with a small blending brush from ColourPop and I'm going to use this to carve out my outer crease and outer corner. Usually if you have hooded eyes like me, you'll have a crease line passing right across your lid and that'll end up hiding under the hood so you can barely see your lid space. So what we're doing here by carving out that outer corner and crease is creating a new lid space and a new crease above the natural crease line. And just to balance everything out, I'm going to use the same bronzer in my lower lash line as well. And then using the Ofra highlighter in Soho, I'm going to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. Highlighting the inner corners especially helps to separate the two eyes out and it gives you the illusion of bigger, brighter eyes. For my winged liner today, I'm going to be using the Ofra liquid liner. So the way I'm going to do it is look straight in the mirror. I'm not going to look down, not looking to the side, nothing. Just look straight in the mirror and draw out that outer wing and I'm going to go over my hood and the crease line. So the outline of the wing should look like this. It looks like a normal wing when your eyes are open. Now I'm going to lift my lid space by lifting my brows i guess like however you want and you can see a little gap that's caused because of the crease line that is cutting right across the lid so all we do now is just join that gap and then we fill in the wing and then join it with the lash line
again to keep the eyes looking bright and awake i'm going to be using a lighter color metallic eye pencil in my lower lash line you can also use a matte eye pencil this one is the rimmel scandal eyes and it's in the shade gold i'm going to link that right in the description box below and then i'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes for mascara i'm using the ofra cosmetics hd volumizing mascara and for lashes i'm going to be using brazen by black label Although these are fluttery full lashes, they're also wispy, so they don't completely cover your lid space. In fact, they wing out in the outer corner, so they give you that elongated eye look. And that's pretty much it, you guys. It looks simple and classy, and that's how you do wing liners on hooded eyes. If you want to know other ways of doing wing liners on hooded eyes, I'm going to link that video right on top. To bring back some warmth into my face and give that dimension, I'm going to be using the Hula Bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. And because this is a matte bronzer, it doesn't have any shine to it, you can use it as a contour powder as well. So I'm going to be almost contouring my face and nose with it. For blush, I'm going to be using the Sigma Aura Powder in Sigma Pink. This guy is crazy. It's so pigmented and when you look at it, it's like a magenta pink. It's in your face. So all you need is very little. I barely touch my brush into this blush and I apply it just to get that hue of rosiness. And then I'm going to be using the Ofra highlighter once again to highlight my face. I'm using it in the high points. And again, I'm going to keep it very subtle. The glow should be like it's coming from within. You know, you've... Uh, you're looking fresh kind of a glow. It shouldn't look like you applied a highlighter on top of your skin. To pair with the wing liner, I'm going to be using a classic red lip. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Brickell. And just for your information, this video is not sponsored by any brand, not even Ofra Cosmetics, but I like to use the same brand, multiple products in the same video. It just makes it easier because it feels like it's a family of products. Uh, but I know many of you will ask me because I've just been using Ofra. So just wanted to make that very clear. And here's the completed look. I brought back my curls because a lot of you asked me in my previous video. I hope you enjoyed it. This kind of a look is a very classic Hollywood, Bollywood kind of a look. And I truly enjoy that era of makeup. I think it's very classy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos every week. For your information and convenience, I'm listing all the products that I used along with links in the description box below. You'll also find my socials there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook for more videos, more chatting and whatnot. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. <music>